All right, let's see about this. Best one too, here we go. Hey, it's Brett, Useful Aircraft. We got the uh, tiniest little drag queen that we build. Uh, I love this stupid thing, but somebody said they wanted to see it fly. Didn't realize I hadn't posted that. So if you would like watching single pixels fly around the screen, this is gonna be the video for you. Um, we got it here, test flight controls. Everything looks good. Pitch trim, yeah, this airplane's my uh, current car beater. I'm gonna set it to the dot and uh, we'll see. The wind is coming up from behind me and uh, some birds out on the field. I don't see anybody else. Of course, there's the sun. We'll take it for an airplane ride. You ready? Out. 70% throttle. Dude, it flies like a Nissan pickup truck. I mean, you wish it had one more gear, but it's a uh, 3,700 kV motor, 1407 is the size, and it's uh, turning that 3052 prop. So it's gonna have a lot more noise than it does actual impact. But that said, it's just a nice flying little airplane. In some ways, guys like learning how to fly with this. Straight wing, aerodynamics, straightforward stall characteristics. Um, you know, it's got a bit of a uh, protected prop in that the prop is uh, obviously encased. The first thing to hit any object would be that uh, crumple zone of a nose. It's a quick and easy build. You know, you can dial down the rates. If you leave it the way it is, it's got pretty snappy roll rates. Uh, it'll fly right side up, it'll fly upside down. You can incorporate flaperons with it. And uh, you get yourself in any problems going slow, you hit that throttle and with the induced flow over the uh, elevator, you're in good shape. It makes its own noise, which kind of warns people away. You know, Airplane goes where it's trimmed. Power setting right now. Um, you can put in a mix to drop the nose with throttle. Uh, I find, I don't know, I think it was about 6% pitch to throttle coupling uh, is what a lot of folks tend to enjoy. But it flies reasonably well slow. Sub 250 with a uh, 3S850 milliamp hour battery. It'll take a, take a licking, hit a tree. On a calm day, which today is not, you can just about fly figure eights inside a tennis court. Yeah, a little gusty there. Quick and easy build, you know. I don't know, about 70% of a sheet of foam board. And it doesn't look like every other Piper Cub in the sky. Sometimes I like that aggressive sound. I don't know, it's kind of fun. I'll fly it to five minutes. We'll see where the battery is. Oh, there's the wind. Every time I turn around. The LRS gives it a range to where you can turn it into a pixel, but uh, Get a couple of these and it's kind of fun to tear around the sky and terrorize each other. Have little races, set up a course. Sounds like the worst fucking dentist drill. I don't know, it's kind of fun, it's obnoxious. 
you can't help but giggle when you fly it. The bigger sister of this, um, when I build it full size, 2205, 2300 kV motor, two blade, like a uh, six by four prop. Um, it'll fly a full size DGI FPV unit, like uh, the original version, or it'll fly the uh, 03 flight controller, the whole nine yards. It's a pretty fun FPV plane. Uh, you gotta make sure you beef up the tail. Um, you know, the attach points, if you're doing, it's no different than the Bronco, you're sitting down there and Let's chase some birds. There we are. Uh, if you're doing, you know, yank and bank down low and really maneuvering hard, you can't overstress the tail. But, uh, I don't know. I really dig the airplane. All right, that's five minutes on the button. Let's bring it around, see if I can land within the same zip code. There we are. And uh, five minutes, 13 seconds on the clock. Let's uh, pull out a battery tester and see where we're at. Yeah, this airplane's seen better days. I'm gonna probably need to rebuild it at some point. This one has lived in my car for anger and frustration purposes. When I just wanna get away from it all and think about everything and nothing at the same time, I come out, pull this thing out, and go for an airplane ride. So, five minutes in, 55% battery left remaining. Um, I think that's pretty good. Anyway, uh, we'll see you guys out there again. I appreciate your time. A little warm again. Micro drag cream. All right, we're still here. Too dumb not to try it. Let's see if this works. Oh, it's getting warm. Okay, so I threw in a 5% uh, couple disarm. So it's my weight. 5% of the throttle will push the nose down on the... Uh, on the elevator so as you bring power up it'll drop the nose because um, otherwise it had a nose up tendency due to uh, a little i don't know i think it's the angle of uh you know i'll have to look i wonder if it's related to that uh popsicle underlayment um on the elevator anyway let's uh let's give it a try all you got to remember is have that pitch trim set so even with the five percent you're still within range and we're good there here we go Going for a flight, camera's all the way up. Throttle will go at about 75%. Let's see if that's better. Nose is still coming up more than I want. So I'm gonna drop that again. Let's, uh, the wind just came around to my back. All right, so let's come in here. I don't know if you can see any of this. I don't know if I can see any of this. I'm gonna reset that timer as well. I said 5% throttle, I want more. Go to 10%. I bet that's gonna be too much. Disarm, let's see. Yeah, that looks like it's too much. Go to eight percent and let's put a slow down. No, I want to have the onset of it slower by half second. All right, that looks about right. Let's take it for an airplane ride and see how she does again. This one is uh, not the prettiest airplane I've ever flown, but still work. Probably could even dial the roll rates down. Yeah, that nose is still coming up more than I want. It's just, this is the problem. It's just a nice airplane to fly. It just does all the things you want. I mean, it's fun. This nose pitch coupling, see, with a gentle power setting, 
it works really well. Now the wind's coming up again. And power coming up and the throttle going up. See, that was flying straight into a gust of wind. Let's move the birds along. No, they don't care. I don't remember. Let's bring it around and see if the flaperons are set. Flaperons are effective, but I've changed my pitch attitude, so I need to adjust my elevator trim uh, loading with the flaps. So, and that's by and large related to what I'm doing here. Let's bring it in, let's take it up and try the 10. Oh. Well, the wind decided we weren't coming around. Um, I'm gonna reduce that input timing. Take it down to 0.4. And I'm gonna up its weight. Let's go to point three. Point three on the uh, slowing of the input, 12% weight. Let's throttle coupling. And this is on the elevator. Uh. Now the wind's coming from this direction. Same thing. Um, It might just be getting too gusty. It's rolling off those trees and I'm trying to see for a clean pitch input and not getting a chance to see a fair game. See, but that feels right. That's a nice response. I just think that the airplane being as light as it is, you know, you uh, really got to take out the account of wind. See that, now it's tracking straight. I mean, obviously until the speed gets up too much. God, that's 12%, that's wild. All right, that says 10 minutes. That's two five minute batteries. Um, yeah, I can't decide which way the wind's going now. It's just a gusty blustery day. And then you sit inside the bowl here you know, and you wonder why you're not getting a straight shot on anything. So we'll bring her in. There you go. Anyway, guys, micro drag queen, sub 250. It's a great airplane. Have a great day.